Even though I Love Lucy never failed to make TV audiences laugh, it was a matter of public knowledge that the show's leads didn't enjoy such a lighthearted, happy-go-lucky life off-camera. While it's impossible to deny that Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz loved each other, there were always rumors their marriage was a lot more turbulent than their hit sitcom suggested. Even though their two-decade-long marriage was full of hardship and turmoil, Ball and Arnaz had love and a mutual respect for each other that remained between them until death. But not to sugarcoat things entirely, let's take a look at some of the reasons why their marriage inevitably failed. Desi and Lucille were already separated when the show started. When the idea for I Love Lucy was first developed, the married couple was already living two very separate lives. Ball was a rising star, while Arnez was busy touring around with his band. William Asher, I Love Lucy's director, told People magazine he foresaw their marriage ending. When people are separated for a while, sooner or later someone will start sleeping around. And sure enough, he was right. Arnez, in particular, was infamous for his infidelity. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse. And keep watching to find out why Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz eventually filed for divorce. Lucy fought for Desi to be on the show. I Love Lucy was based on a radio show Ball had worked on called My Favorite Husband. CBS commissioned Ball to recreate the magic of that show in the form of a TV sitcom about a ditzy newlywed and her impetuous adventures. But the network was apprehensive when Ball demanded any show she appeared on must include Arnaz. CBS brass were apparently worried American viewers wouldn't accept his strong accent. Not backing down, Ball and Arnez opted to take a similar-themed vaudeville-style stage show on the road. The theater audiences ate it up. The live touring show was a huge success, and CBS eventually yielded, and Ball and Arnez went on to create and star in I Love Lucy. A weekly sitcom about a young couple, Lucy and Ricky Ricardo, and their neighbor friends Fred and Ethel. Drawing often from their own life experience, the on-screen charm of the couple and Ball's signature comedic styling helped drive the series to become the number one show in America for four years in a row. As Ball and Arnez prepared to launch the show, Lucille gave birth to the couple's only daughter, Lucy, in 1951. Two years later, as the series was scoring high marks, their lone son, Desi Arnaz Jr., appeared in utero on screen when Ball made history as the first pregnant woman to appear on primetime. Ball gave birth to her son January 19, 1953, the same day her character gave birth on I Love Lucy. Having kids curbed some of Desi's philandering behavior for a time. Bart Andrews, who wrote three books about Ball and Arnaz's relationship, believes having children curtailed some of Arnaz's bad behavior, at least for a minute. Some of Desi's playboy tendencies were alleviated from the moment little Lucy was born. He likely felt more sensitive about those kinds of things and stopped some of his running around and boozing for a bit. But having kids only proved to be a band-aid fix for Lucille and Desi's marital problems. Soon enough, he was right back at it, sleeping around behind Lucille's back. They slept in separate bedrooms. Child actor Keith Thibodeau, who played Little Ricky on I Love Lucy, recalled his TV parents didn't even sleep in the same room at their Beverly Hills mansion towards the end of their marriage. Thibodeau told People that one time, at their home in Palm Springs, Ball told her chauffeur to drive to the Indian Wells Country Club. When she walked in to have a drink, Arnez waltzed on in with a couple of women on his arm. When he saw Lucy at the bar, he turned around and ran off. They tried their best not to fight in public. While everyone knew Ball and Arnaz's marriage was not exceptionally happy, those close to the couple said they tried not to tiff in front of other people. They never had any huge spats on set. Arnaz's upper-class upbringing made him more likely to keep matters private. But even though they kept their bickering behind closed doors, that didn't make it easier for either of them. Desi and Lucille tried to divorce multiple times. It's well known that Ball and Arnez tried to get divorced even before I Love Lucy started filming, seeing as how they spent so little time together. They almost got divorced on a couple of occasions during the 50s, but for one reason or another, it didn't happen. It was always Lucille who put a stop to it. At one point, she decided enough was enough and devised a plan to take her kids out of Hollywood and move to Switzerland. But that never happened. Ball stayed in New York to do Broadway. It was while living there that she met her second husband, Gary Morton. Ball was the one to suggest they separate. 
Pregnancy and child rearing were things Ball had long hoped to experience. She had previously suffered several miscarriages before conceiving her daughter Lucy. But as viewers at home tuned in every week to witness their latest, often absurd adventures, Ball's marriage to Arnez was buckling under pressure. He was working 14-hour days as their Hollywood careers took off, but at home, the stress gave rise to verbal quarreling and accusations of further infidelity by Desi. But just as they did in I Love Lucy, when Ricky and Lucy would make up as the credits rolled, Ball and Arnez patched things up and found common ground in their relationship over and over again. But that pattern wasn't sustainable. At one point, while they were still together, a magazine published a story about Desi as a womanizer. Charles Pomerantz, Ball's publicist, gave an advanced copy to them, and Lucy took it back to her dressing room to read it. Everyone on set waited with bated breath, until she finally came out, threw the magazine to Desi, and proclaimed she could have told them worse than they did. But even with the publication of that article, Arnez's drinking and philandering continued, and the couple finally divorced in 1960. Ball told the court that things got so bad, she was the one to suggest just perhaps it would be better if they weren't together. Lucille and Desi stayed in touch after divorcing. As troubled as their marriage most certainly was, Ball and Arnez remained close after their divorce, even when both of them eventually remarried. Associated Press reporter Jim Bacon recalled that even after Ball was married to Gary Morton, whenever she'd see him, she'd always take him to a corner and ask him if he'd heard from Desi. She wanted to know how he was getting along. Desi married Lucille's doppelganger, but his alcoholism worsened over time. After finalizing their divorce in 1960, Arnez got remarried in 1963 to Edith Mack Hirsch, a woman who bore a striking resemblance to his first wife. They remained married until 1985, a year before Arnez passed away. Arnez died from lung cancer, brought on by a lifetime of heavy smoking, but alcohol was the one vice that got visibly worse in the later chapters of his life. His alcoholism was something Ball wanted to keep out of the public eye. While the public knew full well Desi was a heavy drinker and womanizer, Lucille always wanted to keep it private and never let it hurt him. She maintained that level of empathy for her ex-husband in the later years, even when she was a huge star and Desi was down and out. Desi and Lucille were still in love up until the end. Although their marriage was replete with trials and tribulations, Lucille and Desi kept their relationship as close friends even after they divorced. Perhaps it wasn't romantic, but they never stopped caring intensely about each other's well-being. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball should have worked through their problems and stayed together, or did they do the right thing by divorcing? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.